Let's process our payroll checks. We're going to show you two ways to process the payroll checks. The first way we're going to show you is the batch processing method, whereby we select a group of employees and process all their checks at one time. And then we're going to show you how to process one payroll check at a time. To process a batch of payroll checks, come here under the Tasks pull-down menu and come down to Select for Payroll Entry. Here on this filter window, we can select the group of employees we want to pay. We want to pay all of our employees, so we're going to leave these boxes checked. Pay frequencies, we could select the group of employees for weekly or bi-weekly, for example. Or we could pay just our hourly or our salary employees. And finally, we could come down here and select a group of employees, either by selecting a range based on the employee ID field, or use the type field and select a group of employees based on their type categorization. Let's click OK, and Petri is going to bring in all of our employees. Now, let's talk about these fields across the top. Our check date is Friday. We pay on Fridays. And the pay period ending date ends at midnight the Saturday prior. Our cash account is our payroll checking account that we process all of our payroll checks out of. Now, let's go down the list of employees and prepare their payroll checks for printing. First, we look at Amanda Chrissy's time card and note that her time was 74 hours. So we simply change that here. Next, Alex should not be included in this payroll run. So we're going to uncheck this line and a check will not process for Alex. Let's scroll down further, and we note that Drew Carter took some sick time during the time period. So let's come up here and click on Detail, and this brings us into the Employee to Pay Detail. We can come over here, and let's put in his sick time. He took one day off sick. Click OK, and let's scroll down further, and we see Derek took some vacation time during the time period. Now to go to the detail, I can simply double click right here, or I can click on this detail button. Let's come down to the vacation section over here, and Derek took one week off. His vacation time is now negative 36 hours. We're going to need to get management approval. Let's click OK. And let's scroll down further. Now we need to charge some time to jobs. Kyle, his time needs to be charged to a couple different jobs. So we're going to select his name and come up here and click on jobs. Now on this screen the objective is is to insert blank lines and then allocate this total time here to different jobs. So to insert a blank line simply click here. For Kyle we need 40 hours to go to the Beaumont job. Let's put in 40. Now you'll see this total here changed from 80 down to 40 because we've used 40 hours of that overall balance and charged that to a job with 40 hours remaining to be charged to jobs. Let's insert another blank line and let's come in here and charge the remaining 40 hours to the Mason job. 
Now there's no hours remaining left to charge to jobs. Let's click OK. Let's scroll down the list further and everything else looks fine. We're ready to print checks. Now we simply click on print, OK, real. Peachtree wants to know the first check number that you're placing in your printer. Click OK and the checks will begin to print. That's how to run a batch of payroll checks. Two things to note. Once you're in this screen, if you exit, you lose the changes and settings you've made. For example, if I want to come here to my select button, which this takes me to the filter screen that we saw before we entered this window. If I click here, I get a warning message all of my changes will be lost if I go back to the filter criteria. So I'm going to cancel this. Now I realize that there's an, an, a new employee that we did not set up and is not in this list. So I decide that I want to leave this screen and I'll come back and re-enter this information again. Not very much fun, but it happens. So. I'm going to close this window and by clicking no I just lost all the work that I did so you want to be aware of that that you can't go in and out of this window while you're processing your payroll checks have all your information ready when you go in there so that you're ready to update that screen and then print your checks now let's look at printing one check at a time to print one payroll check at a time, simply come under the Tasks pull-down menu and come down to Payroll Entry. Here, this brings in a payroll check screen where we can process individual checks. Let's bring in Dorothy. And here, we can edit her hours. And over here, we can make any other changes for vacation or sick. Here we want to indicate the pay period ending and our check date. And then we can simply print the check. If we need to charge jobs, we can do that here as well. Print. And we're ready to print this check. Click OK and now the check will print. And that is the two methods for processing and printing payroll checks.